Find a penny, pick it up, and you'll have good luck. You know the saying. Well, one cat from Dolphin Island named Penny must have a whole lot of good luck after being picked up and reunited with her owner hundreds of miles away from home. Dana Winter sat down with the cat's owner tonight. So, Dana, tell us how long was Penny missing? Well, Roseanne, Penny's owner tells me had she not been found, today would have been day 11 looking for Penny. She says none of this would have been possible, though, without some help from a Facebook group. Still tired, Penny? Penny. This is Penny, and after the long journey she's had, she's taking a nap. I didn't post right away because I thought, well, Maybe she just got caught up and she'll be back tonight because she has done that before. When Penny did not come home for four days, Monica Fleming made a post on several Dauphin Island Facebook groups looking for her pet. That's when she got a message from a woman she'd never met. She had pictures uh, that she sent me and it was Penny. The woman told Fleming she saw her post in one of the Facebook groups. The woman told Fleming Penny had lost her collar and seeing no owner, she took her home. I was just like, okay, I gotta go get her. You know, it was just like picking up my daughter at, you know, school. I was like, okay, I gotta go now. But the drive was not so easy. Penny was all the way in Tennessee. Fleming says the round trip took more than 13 hours. If I thought she was just a cat, I would I would definitely not have. I would have been like, okay, she's in a good home. Y'all y'all keep her. But um, but she is part of my family, and I would do it for any of my family members. These are some pictures from their trip home. The drive may have been difficult, but Fleming says it was worth it. When she heard me um, start talking to her the whole ride back, she would look up at me with her big old eyes and just start meowing at me like she was telling me about what happened. Fleming tells me she plans on getting Penny a GPS tracker so she doesn't travel too far from home again. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.